Hi Dollar Divas, welcome to Behind the Vanity, I'm Jessica. So today I'm going to be duping a palette that's going to be coming out in a couple days. It's the Natasha Denona Mini Biba Palette. I think I'm saying that right. B-I-B-A. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to be duping it with Dollar Tree Eyeshadow. I've done a few of these videos where I dupe like high-end or luxury palettes with either affordable Dollar Tree or just eyeshadows that I have in my collection already and I will have my duping playlist linked down below if you enjoy videos like this and if you are new to my channel welcome I do hope that you will subscribe and become what I like to call one of my dollar divas and of course if you're returning thank you so much for returning so yeah I'm super excited that there's another palette out that I found that I could dupe um, I wish I could do these videos more but just there's so many palettes coming out and I kind of forget to do it, but this seemed like a perfect opportunity. Of course, the Natasha Denona mini palettes, if you're not familiar, which I'm sure you probably are, they're five pan palettes and they usually retail for about $25. And I've got a pretty extensive Dollar Tree eyeshadow collection and so I kind of felt like I could dupe this particular palette. So I'm gonna give it a try. And the look that I am wearing is using the shades that I used for the dupe. So this is like a possible look you could get with this palette, I feel. So anyways, if you want to see what I came up with, definitely keep on watching. So I went through all my eyeshadows because I do like to come up with like a couple different options. Of course, you know, there are always a couple options for each shade. These are just the ones that I chose out of my personal collection. But these videos are also to encourage you that even if you don't have exactly what I have, if there's a palette that you want, look at your collection, especially if your collection is pretty sizable. See what you got because, you know, we don't always have to run out and buy a new palette. Sometimes we do love to treat ourselves, and I do fairly often, but sometimes... It is nice to just look at your collection and see if you can't create a similar look using what you already have. So I think these are like five completely new shades that are not in the original palette. And this palette is described as having five brand new nude and brown pink undertoned shades. So let's go ahead and get into it. So for this first shade here, it kind of looks like a kind of a very traditional matte brown. It probably does have a slight pink undertone to it, but ultimately when you put a dark matte brown with any undertone, on your eye. It is going to pick up undertones that are in your skin, so I don't know that those slight undertones really make a huge difference when they're on your eye. And it is going to come across different on different people, different skin tones, all that good thing. So this little Ellie Colors palette here called Sunset Break, I feel like this shade right here is kind of the closest thing that I have. So there is the first swatch. So now the second swatch looks kind of like a tan, like a warm tan matte. I think this little LA Colors Trio here in Sunflower, this shade right here is very close. So the middle shade looks kind of like a champagne. Obviously it's a shimmer and it looks like it's champagne. It might have a little hint of pink under it, but honestly, the picture of the palette does not really look so. It looks more on the nude side. So I'm gonna go into my Ellie Colors Bare Quad and I'm gonna go into this shade right here. Now I know that Natasha Denona has amazing quality in her shadows. I haven't personally used them, but I've swatched them like in the store. And you know, the mattes apparently, apparently nobody can compare to her mattes. But honestly y'all, these Ellie Colors quads, I don't think anybody can compare to these shimmers. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I mean, that is from the Dollar Tree, you guys. You know, you don't always have to pay for quality. Sometimes you do, not always. And then that fourth shade is a matte and it looks kind of like a peachy kind of a matte shade. And I really actually had several different things I could use for this. And the one I was gonna use is in this LA Colors 12 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. This is in Urban. And I was gonna go into this shade right here which you could do, it is pretty close, but I just hauled this blush by Wet n Wild and it's in the shade Keep It Peachy. And honestly, you guys, I think this right here is a dupe. You know, you can think outside the box and use your blushers and things like that as eyeshadow. If you've never done that before, you totally can. Why buy like a pink eyeshadow? If you're, you know, some people want to experiment with pink eyeshadow, but you might be afraid to buy pink eyeshadow. So like try a blush, try like a mauve or a berry blush 
something like that and just see if you like that tone on you. So that is what I have and I do think that's the closest thing. And last but certainly not least is kind of a darker shade and it looks like it's a little bit shimmery. I don't know if it's as shimmery as the middle shade, but it looks kind of like a rust rose kind of a brownish shade. So I'm going into the rose quad. So I'm gonna go into this shade right here. I think this is the closest thing I personally have in my collection. So there is the swatch, a little bit of shimmer. And I think when the swatches come out of this palette, it's gonna look very, very, very similar to this. And if it looks anything close to the swatches, what you get on the eye will be even more forgiving. That's just how it works. So I think the look that I have is even more similar than any swatch, any pan, just because the eye is so forgiving, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the short but sweet duping video of a new Natasha Denona mini palette that's coming out. Will you be buying this palette? Definitely comment down below and let me know. I do think these little mini palettes are a great way to kind of dive into the luxury eyeshadow palettes, because I know their full sizes can be anywhere from 65 to over $100, but the little minis, you know, for $25 is a lot for five eyeshadows, but sometimes it's nice to have a little something special and you're not breaking the bank all that much. Now, of course, all these here equal $5 and that's the price of like one eyeshadow in that palette, but we do like to buy some nice things every now and again, but if you're not into it and you do not want to spend the money on this, just know that you can dupe the vibe, dupe the look, and most likely have very similar colors in your collection. So again, just teaching us to be mindful, teaching us to look teaching us to look at what we have, but definitely not discouraging us from maybe making a splurge if you feel the need, because we all do have to splurge every now and again. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, show me did by hitting the like button. I will have my duping playlist linked down below in the description box, as well as my Dollar Tree makeup and haul playlist if you enjoy Dollar Tree oriented content in particular. Share this video with anybody you think that might find it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.